Today we're taking a look at the Tronic wireless charging alarm clock. This is a alarm clock that shows the temperature plus it's a wireless charger for Android iOS and it says Windows phones. It's been a while since I've even seen a Windows phone out there. Now this is replacing a Sony alarm clock that I've absolutely loved, probably had for 15 years, but for some reason has recently just started to run the clock fast. So no matter how many times I keep resetting it, it always um, ends up a few minutes fast. So I went on Amazon and picked this up. I'll put a link down to it in the show notes down below. But I thought I'll give you a quick demonstration of what comes with this and let you know what I think of it. So there is this little plastic film here, but we'll get that off. It's surprisingly rough to peel. Oh, there we go. Surprisingly difficult, but it's got a very shiny, glossy front on this. I'm going to do a quick unboxing here, show you what comes with it, then I'm going to plug it in, test it out, come back here, and give you my thoughts. Before I do that, though, if you're new, do me a favor, hit that subscribe button, hit that thumbs up. It's a huge help because it lets YouTube know you enjoy what we do here, and hopefully we can help you find, in this case, the right alarm clock for you. And I will also put a link to this down in the show notes. So real quick, there's not a lot to say about the physical device. It is plastic. It may look like metal in some of the pictures you will see online, but this is plastic always around. It does come with a micro USB port here um, on a very short cable, but really any micro USB cable will work. It does not come with a wall outlet. Not a problem for me because I actually have a power strip um, next to my nightstand that has USB ports on the power strip. And that's why I'll be plugging this into. But for people who don't, you either need an extra wall charger or need to get one for this. Now, overall, the construction of this is fine. It does look a little cheaper than um, you may want. It is a rather bland looking interface, but overall it is very clean, crisp, and easy to see. You have a few buttons here, make sure we're focused. You have a, um, a power button here, a up and down, and a memory there for uh, options. We'll get into that in a little bit more. On the back, you've got the little speaker for the, um, for the alarm and the input for the power. On the bottom, that's it. Little tiny grips, not very um, um, grippy, I guess we'll call it on there for that. It does come with a simple little manual to charge it or to talk about the charging, the different options and more with that. Now, what it is designed to do is to put your phone on the top here so you got the time right up here. You can put your phone up there and it will charge it. Let me go play around with this, test it out, come back and give you my opinions now that I've unboxed it and shown it to you on how it actually works. So hang in there. I'll be right back. So I've been playing around with the new clock for a while and been fairly impressed. It's a very straightforward, easy to use clock with a decent amount of options for what it is. Now, you can see right now it's flipping back and forth between the time and the date, though I haven't reset the date to be correct yet. Uh, and that's an option. You can have it set to show only the time, you can have it set to only show the date, or you can have it rotate back and forth like you're seeing here. On the right-hand side, you can set it to Fahrenheit or Celsius. To do that, you just kind of hold the down arrow for about two seconds, and it will switch back and forth between the two. Past that, it's very simple to kind of jump in here. You can turn it off if you ever don't want it running. You can also go through the different options on it to change the different clock settings and more. So pretty nice, pretty straightforward, not a lot to say about it. The power cable on it is maybe the biggest down point. It's very short, but micro USB cables are pretty easy to come by. And if you're like me, you probably have a few laying around as many of my devices have now become USB-C. But I've kept a, um, my older micro USB cables because I still have a few devices that do it. Now the charging on this does work. All you have to do is put your phone on there. In this case, I've got a Pixel 4 XL and I set it on top with the case on it and it starts to charge. Now it does charge at a standard rate. It's not a below average charge time, um, but it's definitely not a super fast charge. This isn't gonna be a super quick wireless charge on it. With that said, I am very excited to save my Pixel 4 XL, one of the larger phones I have, in a case, in a protective case, 
does successfully protect it um, and charge it at the same time. So that's pretty cool. Often when you get bigger phones like this, I used to have a car, I have a couple of vehicles that I've rented too, where my phone doesn't fit into the wireless charger and doesn't work right because I have an XL and they didn't make the car for a wireless charging of a phone with XL. Looking at you, GM, looking at you, GM. But this one just works, which is really nice. Now it talks about fast charging. I at best would say this is a standard charger. Remember, you're just using a micro USB charger, in my case, into a power strip, so it's not like I have a USB-C quick charge on this, for example. So keep that in mind. Now for the display, the brightness on this is very nice. Um, plenty bright that in a fully lit room like this, it is bright. I would also say that it's not so bright that I can't go in there and feel like um, I'm being blinded at night. So keep that in mind. Now, one of the things on here that I was looking for that I didn't find was the ability to adjust the brightness of the display. So keep that in mind. Now, this unit says it's rated to go from 32 Fahrenheit to 122 Fahrenheit. Now, it's only displaying indoor temp. It's really not 78 in here, though. Uh, these studio lights I have it sitting under are seeming to be play with it a little bit. But when it was just sitting on my nightstand, it did seem to have accurate temp within a degree or two. Would have been really cool if this had a wireless receiver where I could put the receiver like outside my window in my bedroom, and then I would see the outside temp when I wake up. Don't know if I necessarily care all that much about the indoor temp, but it's a cool feature. I looked around if there was a way to disable that and just have the clock on or just the date on. I did not successfully find an option for that. So keep that in mind. Now it says um, that this phone, um, that this is a fast charger again. That's my only thing I have to take um, complaint with when it comes to the description. Of course, this was the online store description I saw. Is I just think at best it's a standard charger. So if you need something, if you're like me, and sometimes you know at the end of the day you need a quick charge to get some extra power, this is probably not what you want. But for overnight, going to bed, put my phone on it, waking up the next morning, this is a pretty nice device here. So two thumbs up on that. Uh, I haven't had any trouble with overcharging or anything like that, um, so keep that in mind. Though, I will say this doesn't feel as well built as, for example, my Sony wireless charger I got with my old S9. So, take that all with a grain of salt. Use your own judgment for this kind of thing. But aesthetically, function-wise, two thumbs up. Overall, though, uh, I'm happy. If you have any questions, leave me a comment. Let me know. I'll put a link to this down in the show notes. If you're new here, hit that subscribe button, hit that thumbs up. It really does help us because it lets YouTube know you enjoy what we do here. I would really appreciate it. Thanks for your support and check back for more reviews on a wide range of topics.